Anyways, we're back to watch The Legend of Korra. Yeah, this yeah. is book two, episode three, three Civil three. Wars, part one. Fuck! Oh, spirit! Oh, yeah, Civil yeah, yeah, yeah. War, part one. Yeah, yeah this, yeah. Is, this, is, oh, yeah, this is this is about to be, this is about about to be north versus yeah. south. About we're about on episode this, this three. What do you mean, Civil War? This yep. is the title I read last night, and I was like, fuck. And oh, that's why you're like, we have to at least watch two. Yeah. Yeah, because it's going to be tough. We're going to actually watch one. Pop one off tonight. We got a normie day today. Uh, some of you might have been wondering about our shirts. Oh, hey. They're, uh, it says, Normies, this is not a kid's show. Chris got a guy in town to make these for us. We got a guy. We got a guy. <laughs> I think, uh, what we're gonna do is, like, do a giveaway. So, let's, in this episode, think of something while we react in a discussion. Just remember to tell them what the giveaway is. So stick around for the discussion mm-hmm. to figure out how you can get one of these in any color. We'll send it to you. And it will come with our pit stains. Um, oh, yes. gross. God. <laughs> I actually don't Intent. sweat. I mean, we'll get one made. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get one of these. It'll, it'll be a new one. Yeah. Yeah, oh, damn. I got some pit stains. Uh, oh, if you're a patron who's seeing this early, you are the one who can qualify for these giveaways because so you guys are the ones man. that make this channel possible. Uh, just be in the lookout for the discussion for whatever the... Wherever maybe if you want if you want to get one of these. So, so any thoughts on the last episode, guys? Yes, I'm very excited to. The, I mean, the, the ships are coming in, and if it's called Civil War, then I think I think shit's about to go down. Like I, I, I guess it might be a violent takeover then, possibly. Or maybe he'll try. Or, or maybe it'll be like, hey, I'm here. It's my way or the highway now. And they're gonna be like, no. And then a fight will ensue. Like it's maybe a force will take over. I don't think it'll be. I don't. I mean, it will end up. Going that way, but I don't think that'll be his intention. I don't so he think he's seem like he's a bad guy. Yeah, I don't world. think he's gonna come in swinging, but he is like hammer down. Unalak, unalak. <clears throat> so unalak. Maybe it'll just lead up to the very end, the actual popping off of the war. Maybe, yeah. Maybe this will be like the further escalations between what it actually is about. Because I mean, we know what it's about, but why? I don't know. Why come here and just have? Why, why expand your reach that much? Like, are they like annexing? I I think I think it's because it really comes down to the spirits. I feel like I think when those spirits got released, it has kind of left an imbalance up there, possibly some sort of way. Because this is you know like the spirits and spiritual world and the uh, human world. There is a connection, and I think what has happened now is that I feel like the the northern tribe is trying to like access that spirit world again because they've lost it i think her uncle is just trying to restore the balance of like the spirit world and everything make sure everything's right uh, even though he's the, like the way he's trying to do it might not be the right way but he thinks it's the right way but i think his intentions are good he just wants to like make things right again <coughs> yeah sorry let's, i'm just popping it off oh, no, let's, start. Let's, che- let's check it out yeah we're watching serenity later today let's check it out right, we need to keep talking about it Cora's is just so good I mean, I, I only think it's the other. Yeah, Cora's. I'm, I'm liking her, even though she still has her moments of like, no, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. She, she's a teenager, though, yeah, guys. She's in she her has her emotions. Angsty teenager. The she outcomes was... of her shenanigans still surprise me. Oh, that was so cool, dude! Mm-hmm. I really thought that was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I don't think so. Th- this was a good thing that happened, you know. Like, I don't think it's a good thing that happened. Maybe, maybe it was just think... presented as a good thing that happened. I don't think it's a good thing that happened. It's dude. how they handle it. It could be a good thing. I no, think. it's not, man. They're gonna fucking use that shit against everybody. Yeah, so you like this voice for like this series of a moment. It does kind of throw you off. I like the voice, but it does like it's like and the shirt. Oh, is part one and part two. This is Oogie. That, that is no. Yes. <laughs> oh, don't you do that? Oh shit! Here don't we go. See, force will take yeah. over. Yeah. They're blocking off yeah. exits. Freezing the ports. I need you for something more important. I need there you. There is another portal in the north. Once you open it, spirits and man will be able to move freely between the north and the south in a matter of seconds. If both portals open, our tribes will be united again. The world will be united again. So the portal is like a quick gateway between the, 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 the two temples? I think he's no. Or the tri- tribes, the two tribes. Boomy and I weren't on those great vacations. It was always just you and Dad. Oh. No, that can't be right. <laughs> what about the time he took us to Kiyoshi Island to ride the elephant koi? Nope. <gasps> we weren't there. How does he not remember? Ang. Mm. Remember Ember Island? Those amazing sand palaces we built on the beach. He didn't take them to you Ember mean Island. You built. We never saw the place. Uh-oh. Why? Aang was not a perfect dad. Good morning, Uncle Boomy. Where's her sister? Do you Remember she saw the statue? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your sister? Boomy's crazy. 
He's awesome. Boo's like that wild like uncle who's just like he's got the dad gut. It's kind of like the real Boomy and a little it's bit of Saga. Commander Boomy reporting for duty. <laughs> Search and rescue missions are my specialty. I wonder if she's still by that statue together. or in that. Sure, I could use the help. Damn, yeah, dude. Yeah, Aang's fucking offsprings, fam. They're gonna hash out their uh, yeah. their parenting issue, their father issues, because obviously Aang. Paid more attention to the no one that was airbending. Yeah, yeah, training him. Troubling is when I get that. I, I love this guy. Won't go away, and Julie's <laughs> not around to scratch it. This is shocking. Nay, sickening. <laughs> These kale cookies, opposite. Remind me to get the recipe later. How long before he starts telling us what kind of cookies we can eat? Probably a couple of days. <laughs> Rhetorical question, Julie. You gotta keep up. Not to mention, I've got a cargo ship full of halibut that's rotting. Who wants to buy a ship full of stinking fish? Seriously, it's not rhetorical. I need <laughs> All Unamak is trying to do is make our tribes unified again. No, he wants control of our wealth. And I like my wealth. Hmm. If Unalak doesn't pull his forces out, then we have no choice but to fight for our freedom. Yeah. See, I get both sides. Tell him how frustrated we all are. He'll listen to what the Avatar has to say. Do it for me. Yeah. I'll do it for the tribe. Oh, come on. Ooh. How long are you even mad at your dad? He's like messenger. I hold immense dislike for the South. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Pull in. Laugh at my humor is quip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, this is a bad relationship. No, I, I, I love it. I love her. <laughs> this is great. I think I'm getting, I think I'm starting to feel sorry for him. <laughs> what the? Unless he's enjoying it. But you will be coming with me to the North. There, we will live the rest of our lives together in icy bliss. <laughs> Marco! I'm so happy to see you! Yeah, see, like, it's right, good. Bro? No! No, I'm not alright! Listen, I don't want to live in icy bliss with you. Don't, babe! Break up with her. You could do that? <laughs> I do it all the time. How? Just tell her you're not that into her anymore. Oh, no, 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 I don't think she likes it. I'm pulling off a blood-sucking leak. This is hilarious. <laughs> you feel a lot better afterwards. Oh, man. I'm lucky you're so good at breaking girls' hearts. <laughs> or better watch out. <laughs> Ooh. No, it's just, uh... <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, never mind. Oh, my Yeah, God. he did so, kind of do Asami a little, like, a little dirty. Kid, kids that watched Avatar would have been a little older by now, so it's, it's a, kind of a lesson hilarious. for them. Yeah. Probably go through first relationships and shit. Yeah. Your father has been talking to you. Not just Half him, covered in shadow, too. of course. There was a meeting at my parents' house. If the water tribes were at war, the other nations would take sides. The dark spirits would thrive off this negative energy, and the world would be thrown into a battle between spirits and man. That would be catastrophic. Jesus, oh, okay. really? <laughs> but I have no doubt you will become the most admired avatar the world has ever known. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but Tenzin does have faith in her. I mean, having faith in somebody is a lot. It really makes a difference. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Snowball fight. Lots of kids. <laughs> whoa, Easy, buddy. Whoa, oh, whoa, no. Whoa. They got a waterbender your own size. Yeah, oh. what the hell, man? Why are you picking on the kids and shit? That was like... Just threw them off like a two-story building. To go back to the north. Everyone calm down. Glad she just happened to be there. part of the same tribe. You're taking their side? We thought you were one of us. Oh. I'm not taking anyone's side. You are the worst avatar ever. Jeez. They're not worth our trouble. Punks. God <sighs> damn. Why is she being such a dick to her dad? Okay, he was banished. She didn't tell you. Get over it. I mean, I like, like you said, having faith in someone is a big deal. Yeah. But still, it's, uh... Blood's gotta mean something too. Like it's your father, he raised you. You've been so busy with your duty to Republic City that you forgot about your duty to your kids. <laughs> duty. <laughs> Five years old. Uh, you're right. I wish I could be as good a father as Dad was to us. Tenzin, your problem is you're exactly like Dad. Dad loved us all equally. <laughs> mm -hmm. Besides, because you seem to have some grandiose delusion that we had a perfect, happy-go-lucky childhood. Guess what? We didn't. Why is this happening? Yeah, what, I want to see some. I want to know more about See what he's doing this. there, Boomy? Classic Airbender technique. <laughs> Dodge. Running, and running when things get tough. Uh, yeah, did Dad teach you that move? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's hilarious. I do notice the animation now. It's not as it's not as refined. Yeah, like what's going on there? Can't he just let me be the avatar? Uh, D 
Do you want advice, or am I just supposed to listen? Not again, Marco. Still not clear on that. How about you take a break from all this Avatar stuff, and we go out for a quiet dinner? Just the two of us. <laughs> what happened? Oh, God. <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> oh, God. He didn't do we never it. get to spend enough time together, Damn. just the five of us. Excuse us while we retrieve more sustenance. <laughs> oh my god, they're so weird. Why didn't you warn me your cousin had the power to reach into my heart and crush my soul with her bare hands? Yeah. Uh, because I thought it was pretty obvious. No, no, not to me it wasn't. You're bad at reading people, you should know that by now. <laughs> Do something, Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's remind you. Do something, Rest Avatar. Tonight. In the mountains outside of Ba Sing Se. Uh, here we go. For five <laughs> days, we scoured that Here we go. Room. Finally, we found the men huddled in a cave, seconds from death. I piled all 12 of those poor souls. <laughs> <in my back. laughs> Shut the fuck up, baby. <laughs> How exactly is that supposed to help us find It was supposed to inspire you. Clearly, you know nothing about being a leader of men. <laughs> he was That's a general. That's probably why the Avatar fired you. I'm sick of your far-fetched tales. Three typhoons. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This will get us down 50 times faster. Whoa, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought he was... Boomy, it's pitch black and the rocks are slippery. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh, no. If I can do it, it should be no problem oh, no. for a couple of benders. Fine. Whoa, she is a bender. <laughs> Hell no! Damn! <laughs> He's a waterbender. That's you were awesome. Right, Boomy. That was faster. At least fifty times faster. <laughs> <laughs> I hilarious. would have siblings growing up. It's like yeah. it's like a <laughs> mini a mini. Uh, this is hilarious. I'm just stop it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 But it's like a mix of Boomy and Sokka. That's cool. Like how Mako and Bola are fire and earth. Members. Yeah. So, the truth is out. You knew. So she was? You never like, said anything. Oh, come on. Catch? We're trying to keep our family together. To give you a normal childhood. The problems between the North and the South started long before you were born. You can't expect to undo them in a day. So I should just sit back and let the Water Tribes go to war? But I don't want you getting caught like in the it. middle of it. It's too late, Mom. <laughs> I'm already in the middle of it. Man, if you guys saw Dragon Ball Super, like the first couple of episodes when it first started, dude, the animation was nasty horror. Well, talk with her mom didn't work. And yeah, I just, I, like when they move and they're like, they're just their mouths, but I think it was just to save some funds, maybe Nickelodeon. What is that? Kinda. What is that? What happened? An attack. <gasps> oh, shit. Unalak? Yeah. Yeah, they got him. Dude, now she has to make the decision. Oh, oh. damn it. Oh. God damn it. I'll tell him I tried to stop you, but you escaped. We can still avoid a war. No. We can't. What the hell, Dad? Alright, this isn't not the way I saw this one going. Yeah. It's, yeah, what? I know, I, I said Unalak to be, like, the one to do something shady. Like, it's, like, I don't feel like we got the whole story just yet. But I feel like he's doing something shady though, dude. This is like... I mean, it seems like a logical tactic. Go, go after the leader. Nice. Some air, some air. Yeah. Some air. It is kind of cool how we're kind of watching her grow from power. You know? Yeah. She has she's all of She's good. Them. Yeah, she's good. Where's he taking him? Where's he, where's he, where's he? Yeah, just capturing him maybe? Telling him to fuck off? Oh, damn. Whoa. Sorry, what? Find Varric. I want him to freeze in prison with the rest of these traitors. Varric? You want them to go free? No. Varric. But let them stand trial for what they did. Every Water Tribe citizen deserves that right. Yes. Mm, yeah. Very well. Okay, she's still being an avatar. She's like, I don't like He's not a bad guy. <sighs> dude, there's something about this dude that I'm not cool with. You're still trying to prove you can do everything a vendor can. Well, you can't. Deal with it. And you're not our mother. You don't get to tell me what I can and can't do. You're the oldest of us, but you always acted like the youngest. I had to become the responsible one. You think you're the responsible one? Where were you after Dad died and Mom was all alone? Because I was the only one who packed up and moved my whole life to be with her. 
Sure, after years of flitting around the world trying to find yourself... <laughs> flying around the world with Dad riding elephant koi all day. Oh, so that's what this is all about. Elephant koi. That's what it's always been about. <laughs> you think you're some savior who has to carry on Dad's legacy. Who else is going to do it? How about all of us? Yeah, we're Aang's kids too. <laughs> mm. Never should have come on this vacation. I couldn't agree more. This is kind of like the reverse episode where the Fire Nation head in the the, the, the beach the beach yeah. episode. Yeah. Well, who's that? Don't they have a key? Don't they have a key? Don't they have a key? Yeah, Should I pause it? I'll pause it. I'll pause it. I heard something with somebody knocking. Damn, there's like a minute left too. <laughs> yeah, there's. It's just like that episode. Tell them they they ruined it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, tell them that. They fucked it up. What? They opened it with the key! After knocking! <laughs> Who was it? Chris Marquetta! Uh, they on purpose. This, <laughs> this makes me want to reconsider his, his request to, <laughs> to be in, in a couple reactions this He asked to be in court. I, like, yeah, I, I like this B story. Yeah, the sibling. There's a strong sibling focus in the entire series, it seems like. Oh, I love it. It's making me so jealous. Mm. I want siblings. Is it okay if I come in? Of course. We heard what happened. Of course, his only okay? child. So. I'm so glad you weren't there. I don't know what I would have done. I had no idea how far Varric was willing to go. I'm sorry for thinking you had anything to do with the rebels. Yeah. And Dear. for all the pain I've caused you and Mom. I'm the one who should apologize. After I saw the Southern Lights return, I was so proud of you. I never should have held you back. When your father and I found each other. All we wanted was to live a simple life and raise a family. But then we discovered you were the Avatar. need you. Of course I still need you. Yes. Good. Uh-oh. Uh, you are under arrest and will stand trial. Trial? What? For what? For conspiring to assassinate I thought he was coming to, like, make up with them! I thought it was a dick, dude. Also, I think they got some wrong information because we he her dad just told her he would never do anything. His yeah. name is Tonrock. Well, that was a good part one. Tonrock and Sam. Damn it, I do want to watch the next one. <laughs> That's what yeah. I was like. That was a good ending. That was a good ending. I did not see that coming. For conspiring to assassinate me. Like, what? Yeah, like, what? Whoa. I think, hey. they have, I think they have misinformation. I don't think they really were going to try to assassinate him. I think just word got around or something. Maybe, they're innocent. Or... It's, it's a setup, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're I, innocent. Dude, I, or, man, I don't know. He's, he's a sneaky motherfucker. Bro. Maybe, maybe, dude, maybe Varric. Hey, dude. Maybe they said Varric said, like, uh, he put me up to it. Cora's father. What's his name again? He just said it. Tonarak. 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 Yeah. Tonarak. <laughs> well, I don't want to say it wrong. Yeah. Do you think there's a possibility? Because I really don't like this Gunalak dude. I don't like him. I just don't like him. Yeah. Do you think there's a possibility that he could have sent out actors to get him and set that whole situation up? No. No. I don't think he's a bad guy. He's just like very, He's just. By. Thinks he's right in his head. Yeah, he's just by the book. He's he just, just thinks this is the by. way to do it. Yeah, he's he's not a gray area Todd thinker. Rocker. Man, then why are you trying to arrest uh, Cora's parents for man? Because I think there's some misinformation out there, and they're being set know. up or something. But they're innocent. Move. I think this is move now. Yeah, I don't know. We're I think I think we're gonna find out. This next part. But I think them around. kidnapping him really set him off on a whole different like direction. I was like, well, fuck this shit. I was just gonna come in and try to unite us and stuff. But if this is what you guys want to do it, and this is the way we're gonna do it. Then. I think he's a motherfucker. But this is also gonna make Cora. Uh, be a little bit more like you know like not as blindly following Unalak anymore which is a yeah yeah I mean, thank god I'm glad she made up with her parents so like that because that's, I mean they're gonna have her back no matter what they're yeah. not gonna try to like send her off in the wrong direction and, that and I'm the glad they're time. focusing on her parents this season yes I was, wondering, I was wondering like is she not close to her parents like I don't know we just didn't see much of her parents they're, last season yeah it, and so, like, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure they recap. I don't think James Rimar was doing no, the dad's voice last no, season. No. I would recognize it. So I, I just liked how Cora handled that situation as best as she possibly could have. Like, when she thought it was her dad, we were shocked, too. And then, like, yeah. to see her, like, finally kind of make up with him after thinking that he would be capable of that and then realizing, like, He's not like I don't know. It's, yeah, it not was, being it was again, a good reassured her for it sure. Was, I mean, it was a good emotion. This episode, like, it really goes to show like the role of the Avatar is like to just I guess be that ambassador to the spirit world and 
the men of, men of world like like at the end over there you know Unalak was like hey like lock him up right away they, they they didn't you know they they did something wrong but she was like no we have to go by the world of men we have to put him on trial we have to be fair to everybody else mm-hmm. and she has to play that like that role and, and it's I, dude I bet it's fucking taxing for someone her age to do that shit I, I think they're all not like nobody's a bad guy in this. I all think they're all just like think they're right and stuff. Like Cora, yeah. El- 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 Dad, everybody. And like he you goes. said, Aang never had to deal with such things. Yeah, he didn't have like to deal this. with like political, law, like, political. You know what I mean? Because like I wouldn't say maybe the towards the end, maybe towards the end, yeah. life we didn't see. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, t- towards the end it was like you know the governments were very primitive at that time. I feel like it was more of like you know there was a king and. A you know, there was, like, this one big chief emperor or leader, but now they have, like, a formal government where there's, like, a council and there's, like, police, and then, you know, it's not. <laughs> I was thinking Bowman right now, sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, Bowman is <laughs> <laughs> I felt oh, yeah. right now. I was like, Eska, mm, Eska and, uh, what's Desna. 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 I like the name Desna. 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 Desna's a girl. I feel so. Do you think he's ever going to break up with her? Or is he just, she's going to keep threatening him to dolphin piranhas? I think he's going to fall in love with her, man. I think, I think he's going to break up with her and then maybe just we'll like, finally see her kind of change in personality and show some emotion. Maybe. Her her voice reminds me of Aubrey Plaza. Like, yeah. 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 April Logan, yeah. They're hilarious. I, I think it know. is Aubrey Plaza. No, it is? Just stop yeah, it. It's, is it really? I think it is. Oh. I remember someone saying Aubrey Plaza had a voice in Cora. So. Oh, 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 you got that. Yeah. Um, I was really happy to see um, Tenzin <laughs> and Boomy and Kyle all together. Uh, yeah, they do. So I guess yeah, that B story is good. I, I love their you know brother sister relationship. They had a real like sibling relationship growing up. You know the favorite, the butt heads, all that stuff. You know what yeah. I mean. I really wish it I showed had that Aang wasn't perfect. It, it showed that Aang wasn't perfect. Like yeah. he wasn't perfect. He was like he wasn't a good dad to like you know. To... No, I would say he wasn't a good dad. No, I mean I, I I can see where they're coming from like on a lot of things because for Aang like I, he put a lot of a lot of his time in Tenzin because he is the last Airbender. You know what I mean? He we wanted to continue on the Airbending race. They're gone. He, Aang was the last one. Yeah. Ten, Tenzin is a continuation of the Airbenders. So I can see why he didn't spend that much time with Boomy, and I can see why he didn't spend that much time with Kaya. Yeah, because he had to spend all his time with him. He had to, he had to treat, he had to basically teach Tenzin the ways of being an Airbender, and then so he can continue on that legacy, which he is doing. You know, and it and and it. In a, in a weird way, it does make him like a like a prophet. No, I don't call him a prophet. But no, like, just like, uh, like a, a savior. It is a, like, he is a savior. He's, 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 like, he's Aang's legacy. Yeah, no, he's thing. the last savior of the Airbender. If you think about it, he's the, the last, last one. Family, yeah, yeah, he is. So like, he has to play that role in a weird way. But he could have took the other but, kids with him to the, vacation times. Yeah. I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't. The, it is Aubrey Plaza. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. So. What were you gonna say? Something? Uh, the uh, the voice acting is really strong there because their their sibling relationship really comes through strong. Like yeah. You, you can, yeah, you can really get a feel for like them growing up and like having adventures like that together as kids. Like they're, they're very chi- even though it's a good juxtaposition of how like old they are versus how childish they're acting. So it's like it's, yeah, it's cool. I, I thought it was a cool reveal that Kyle was a waterbender. <laughs> they didn't really say yeah. it last episode. They just said that like they weren't airbenders. So I mean, I just I, thought like oh shit. No, 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 I kind of no. assume because she's dressed like it, but yeah, but they yeah. didn't really like say it. They didn't really it's say like, it show it. It's it's kind of like I'm, I'm, I hate to we do it all the time, but we always like you know go back and forth and analogize between the old cast, but like <laughs> it's uh. You know, Kaya's like Katara, and Tenzin's like Aang, and Boomy's like Sokka. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of like that. Yeah. We did not find Icky. Icky no, is yeah, yeah. He's still nowhere to be seen. So she's the, the middle child. The oldest? Middle, yeah. 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 And she does, does she... Oldest. She bends, right? She's the one that was like... They all bend. Okay, all his kids bend, right? Do you know that? Yeah. You know that uh, like, Cora likes Maka. <laughs> <laughs> she said you like... <laughs> That's Chris's uh, avatar in but Discord. Like, I just wonder why Icky's been gone so fo- for so long. Okay, you saw the statue. You woke up and stuff. It's been like a day. Maybe like... she's like still there. Maybe like there was some kind of like <gasps> spiritual connection. Oh, what you really got an idea? What? what? Because like the statue <laughs> statue glowed when the spirit gate opened. What if Icky's in the spirit world? Oh, oh. she might be. 
Dang. I don't know you're not. She might be like lost in the spirit world. Or maybe she just to go find her. I think some spirits are with oh, her. Oh, that would be kind of fucking cool though, dude. Yeah. Cause like, cause, cause she, cause she gotta heard. Intersect the storylines eventually. Cause she's having like moments with the, the spirits, like when she heard the thing. Yeah, she was in that. She was in the shrine or whatever. Yeah. With she, all the she like turned around that weird scene, that weird cutaway. Yeah. And that and that statue started glowing when the spirit thing happened. So like, I don't know. Maybe 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 the statue's like a portal or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but um. Well, yeah. Oh, I was like, I don't know about portals, but like, I don't know how the northern and southern portals gonna connect. And I'm like, I need to know why, how, what's going on with that. Yeah, is she really gonna go now and open the northern portal after everything that's happened? I don't think so. I don't know if she's gonna do that now. Man, there's so much shit, know, and we're only three so episodes in. This is a much better. Season I, I, I so think far. it is uh, apparent, like that the animation <laughs> might be a little bit like money saving with the way they're doing like a lot of dialogue heavy scenes. But it's not. But they found good scenes to write. That's yeah. what. That's how. That's it's, how. It's interesting. It's not horrible. Like I don't think we were reacting or saying much, but it was just interesting, like learning more about these people. That's yeah. how. That's how Mikey justified DBS. Like, cause the, the the animation was fucking trash. It was like way worse than this, man. Like Vegeta just like looked like it was drawn by a five year old. Um, it was bad. And like, but like, <laughs> it, it, but the way Mikey was like, put, put the the dialogue and the way they do things makes up for it. I was like, sure it does. Mm. Any last thoughts, guys? Because we have to start Serenity in five minutes. Uh, no last thoughts. My last thoughts are I want to see the next episode. But... So bad. Bye. 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 We're going to do it later. Later. Bye. See you. Peace. Bye. Love you. Bye. So, guys, for that giveaway for one of these shirts, mm-hmm. you have to... I designed them. They're cool. Um... Oh wait, didn't we think of yeah, something? Yeah, so, what like, you okay, so you know how in the Avatar, Korra, world, whatever, yeah, in the world, yeah. there's, um... You know, a dolphin, the for ca- Chimera, Chimera animals. Yeah, the Chimera. Yeah, mixed animal names. Like, like, make make a cool one up for us. That and, hasn't been in the show. We're gonna we're yeah. gonna research and, if it's been in the show before. And no, you can't use cat dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'd be like I mean, a, it'll be like, it, but I don't know if we'll pick it for the uh, cozy four, like their mascot animal. Yeah. Oh Ooh. man. Or like, mascot. Like, like, like what would our, for, our mascot? Ooh, something can I be, that observes and ooh, eats a lot. Can I be a dragon lion or a lion dragon? So no, wait, you wait. can't be the two coolest things pushed together. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Lannister wait, Targaryen. So we're, <laughs> so we're it's, doing that. Yeah, it's got to be something like cr- two crazy things, like an ostrich viper. But it, it's got to make sense <laughs> for you guys too, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Is it just for a group bit. or for, for each person? No, just for like you guys. Like, it you can't know be how like an Cora and them, they've got the fire ferret and then they've also got a polar bear dog. Yeah, what are our group? There was a sky bison before, so like, what do you guys be? What's our group? Two animal... Mascot name. It's like a snake with a camcorder in its tail. Yeah, I, mean, I know. What uh, you eat. I was eating Probably. Uh... Don't guess for him, Mickey. Anyway, it doesn't have to be pertaining to us. You could come up with a, a random one yeah. if you think it's cute and cuddly or, or fearsome and Whatever. scary. We'll pick it. Whichever one we like the best. Huh. If you want to draw one, that's bonus points. Cut this out. But what do you think a koala beetle would look like? <laughs> <laughs> what? Koala beetle? You Terrifying. <laughs> yeah, scary. Is it, is it the size of a koala that's or is so it the size scary of a to imagine. <laughs> I don't know. That that's kind of fun. It's kind of fun thinking of yeah. some sort of pig bear man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching season two, episode three of The Legend of Korra with us. Please hit the like button. It really helps us out and spreads the word of the channel. Because of you guys, we're keeping this thing going. And especially to our super patrons, Luis, Joe, Abel, Keyboard Junkie, Toy Soldier, and Cool Cat. Keep watching, and we will see you guys next week.